and that helps out like a usually you'll see a lot of like heavier characters use that perk as well but in this situation we might it might come to be very useful as we now we go over to the sky arena it is the basic sky arena no platforms this time as we get into this top eight winner semifinals game oh my goodness so there being two bugs right now definitely makes it difficult to kind of keep track who's who right now but man the projectiles just all over the place right now Oh yeah, this is definitely a little bit of chaos happening, but we can definitely see right now that the blue team stacking a lot of damage onto red as we now see Limitless sitting at 85% here. They're doing a pretty good job of being able to kind of sandwich the red team here, uh, keeping them in the middle of the stage while they can kind of just keep them in that, I guess, controlled state where basically they can't move and they have to be able to knock people away in order to get stage control back. Great down air there, not enough to take it just yet, but great on uh, their opponent knocking him out. It's kind of weird how this is going right now at 121%, but holding on to that stock. Uh, oh my goodness, you don't want to get spiked here, and it was just really trying to avoid it, and it led to the double stock there. Yeah, very good spikes right there coming out for the red team. As now we see 104% and 137. The red team is sitting at very high percentages here, and they're going to be able to get a kill. So Normada is going to have to look for moves like down air or up air, Tom and Jerry, and be able to just send them up or down with those two attacks because down air is something that is very good to be able to combo into other attacks with tom and jerry as we see the, the cop car coming out trying to be able to get croppy off stage oh that up air is going to do it calling victims to that up air yeah they're just holding on to that stock stock right now at 150 and 121 percent right now cowfish being extremely aggressive with uh Velma. a lot more than i see other uh other Velma's play. I feel like Velma kind of runs away in a lot of these like interactions, but Cowfish super confident in applying that pressure. Yeah, so now we see the projectile block coming in clutch right now for the blue team as they both try to stack this damage onto Frappy. Frappy's sitting at 69, make that 70% right now. You gotta be careful that top portion of the blast zone, both Velma and Bugs having very good up airs. I love the support coming out here from Cowfish trying to enable Limitless and Limitless getting the down air on the left side of the stage to clean up this game. Very, very good dominance performance from our team. Yeah, especially taking those early two stocks there in the situation. You can see uh, all of these players with the sa same uh, foot banner here, I believe. Yeah, they all rock that same banner. And Limitless coming with a four KOs. That is crazy. Dealing all the damage, but that is basically kind of like how you wouldn't be playing Bug Zelma. You want mm -hmm. Velma to be, you know, putting out those supportive measures, throwing out the words on the other side of the stage and be able to provide that healing and even the targeting beam. And then, you know, kind of have bugs just go in, scrap and do their own little piece, deal that damage. And then when it comes time to be able to finish stocks off stage, it's either going to be a bugs down air, maybe a bugs up air, or even in a situation, if necessary, Velma can go off stage and get a down air or forward air of her own. Yeah, something else I saw with Cowfish is that once everybody was kind of like clustered together using a camera in order to weaken the enemy team, which just leads to more damage, more knockback. And overall, it just gives you more ability to control the stage because suddenly your opponent's flying further away, you're getting more damage, and you're able to kind of like recuperate. Mm -hmm, that is for sure. As now we get into this game here. Uh, I feel like this this next game here, I feel like is going to be quite interesting because now if Snormada and Froppy want to be able to get back into this game, you got to imagine, right, as Tom and Jerry here, how are you going to be able to set up against the Bug Zelda? Like, do you want to be able to do your own setups with Tom and Jerry and kind of like zone yourself? Or do you want to try to zero in on to Cowfish on the Velma? and be able to stop their support. You got to figure out what is the trade-off here in this situation. What is going to be more valuable for you? Yeah, I think it's really interesting playing Tom and Jerry uh, against this team because uh, with Velma and Bugs, you just have so much to kind of interrupt those uh, projectiles, right? So uh, what ends up happening is that projectile wall is really just like, oh, he's sending Vault towards you. The Vault's not necessarily going to break due to the projectiles. Um, but also at the same time, if you're able to get some of these like uh, TNT to hit, for example, it can be good damage for you and your your teammate. 
Yeah, as we, yeah, the TNT definitely does like a lot of damage, and it's also very good for being able to like break armor in situations where you play against characters of armor. And it's also a very good, I would say, ledge trapping tool and edge guarding tool because of how wide the hitboxes are. It is very hard to maneuver around and very hard to air dodge path. For sure. So no character switches here. I'm not super surprised. I feel like both of these teams are relatively solid, especially Val Velma and Bugs, like uh, a very popular team comp. Oh yeah, that is for sure. This this team composition, this is this is the meta, unfortunately. Yeah. It, I, I mean, whether, whether you like it or not, this, this is the meta. Um, you know, the Cat and Void said they were trying to kill the meta with Evo, but hey, I don't think this meta will die until we <laughs> see that patch coming out on Monday. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah. We'll have to see how they'll fare after the uh, the patch of season one. Getting into this next game, game two, run back here into Sky Arena. All right. And already looking like blue team doing a little bit better here and having that stage control. Yeah, as we see the double rocket coming out there at the beginning, both bugs is just trying to establish space with that. And I love the safe be able to just kind of engage there. Limitless looking for those down airs already, kind of controlling this right side of the stage and cutting off Snormata. I love that usage of being able to use one teammate to kind of just apply the pressure and the other one stops the other teammate from helping out. Oh, and that up air will do it. Just a super strong move. Is he going to get a second kill? Yes, he will. Oh my goodness, that 51% able to make it back. It looks like they were trying to close out that stock early, but right now being stuck on that side of the stage, you can lose a stock. Yeah, you don't want to contest it too much, but that rocket, great use of it in order to get back to stage there. Oh yeah, that was a great use <laughs> with the rocket. And now we see both members of the blue team again getting stuck in a little bit in that sandwich situation. I feel like if you're blue, you got to figure out some way to get over to Velma. Velma is being able to help support Limitless and let them overextend in these situations with the great health, with the beam, and using the words to even set up combos for themselves. Cowfish collecting a lot of evidence. I believe Cop Car is online for them, but they're going to need to land in order for it to come out. And there it is. The cops are going after okay. the Tom and, and Jerry. Got them too. That's going to be a lot of damage right now. Yeah, Ooh, and they've now that's a lot of character too. It, one good solid hit will be able to do it for uh, Tom and Jerry at the moment. Um, but both players, the entire teams right now, just really high at percent. But Blue here with the three stock lead at the moment. If they're able to close out this last kill here, could do it. Yeah, so now we see the, oh, the safe counter come out there and Red Team getting a clean four stock game right now blue not getting a single ring out right there in that last round that is very very rough yeah it, it i felt like blue was doing a really good job there in the beginning but it just completely shifted in terms of like when the red had stage control they were just much better about closing out these stocks like well placed down airs good air dodges when you needed to and in order to just get back up onto stage and avoiding uh, the, the down airs coming from their opponents. Yeah, as now we're going to, I feel like if you're blue, honestly, if the way you're going to have to be able to get back into this, I, I truly believe maybe we need to either see a mirror match of bugs and Velma, or we need to see a complete change in game plan. Cause I feel like not enough pressure is being applied to Cowfish. I'm just going to be real with mm -hmm. you. Like the support character is the one who's going to be in enabling limitless to do like these insane edge guards, which has been happening. We've been seeing the crazy up airs off the top with, with off of the freaking rocket, or we see the down airs off of the right side of the stage coming out. It's, it's these insane plays that get enabled from the Velma first. He gets the great health in order to do that. He gets the beam mm -hmm. that hits onto someone that forces them off stage. And then he gets enabled to do uh, what he needs to do to be able to get these insane kills at early percentages. Like we saw a Frappy being able to die at like 69% off stage from the up air. So it all starts with the Velma first. And I feel as though if Blue wants to get back into this, they have to be able to cut it off at the source. Going into the next game here. Yeah, it looks like they're sticking with the same stage here. I think it is relatively even in this uh, this matchup between the two different teams. Um, it's just really coming down to who's able to really control the pace of the game. Yeah, as now we see both members of the blue team still, again, stuck in that middle of the stage. They do so well, Cal Fishing Women is basically just trapping their uh, enemy team into the middle and then just kind of piling damage on onto them. As now we see 
Froppy try to get something with the value off of the rocket as Jerry now set up on the left side of the stage and we see Sormana trying to do stuff with Jerry but it's just so difficult to get value off of Jerry he's so many projectiles coming out just denying the projectiles that you have oh great use of Jerry there was able to uh think hit Velma there earlier um that that's one of the things with Tom and Jerry is that uh Jerry hits really hard it's a great edge guarding tool um Man, both teams here at a really high percent uh, really could go either way here with a solid hit or two. Yeah, as we see the great health on the Cowfish. Cowfish now losing that great health with a very good safe hit coming out there from Froppy. Froppy able to get two of the kills there for Blue Team. And now Blue Team be comfortable until that down air from Limitless comes in. Yeah, I gotta hold on to that stack stock at 99, but do having that shared stock does create a dynamic where Yes, you want to hold on to that stack as much as possible, but you can't restrict yourself too much because if you're not applying that pressure on to the enemy team, suddenly your opponent's going to rack up damage faster, and that's just kind of how doubles works for that game. Um, so right now, at 126% here, Blue is going to lose that stock, putting them now at even, uh, not percentage-wise, though. Yeah, as we see Cowfish sitting at 115%, just trying to stay alive here, staying away. Very good up air there for Froppy, not able to get a kill just yet. We see Snormana trying to chase with that up air, not able to get it. And now we just see Cowfish. Cowfish is kind of just playing for their life, honestly. Limitless going to have to try to protect Cowfish to keep them alive. But Limitless doing a great job of that so far. Cowfish just ducking and weaving. Yeah, right now, just really well placed air dodges. You need to help your teammate out right now. Will you be able to do it? But you don't want to get stuck there on ledge as well. Was able to kind of reset the situation there. You need to close out one of these stocks though at 140%. Will you be able to do it right now? Jer was in a good situation to do it. Was able to close it out. Right now they just need to get that one more kill. Probably onto Limitless. Match point. Red team. Yeah, Limitless okay, has a great health, but now sitting at 134% though, trying to stay alive, using the rocket to get back to the stage. I love the usage of the tunnel to kind of avoid that sandwich situation. Stormana sitting at 117, both members of blue and red at higher percentages, and that is it! The four no. Limitless will close it out. <laughs> like, I felt like it was such in blue's favor, but yeah, red able to hold on to the stocks for longer. Cowfish missed being super in base, like evasive, but also able to still rack up damage onto her opponent. Yeah, that is a very dominant performance coming out there from Red Team, able to take it 3-0. Great stop from them. As we see Cowfish and Limitless winning winner's semis and now advancing over to winner's finals.